Although Huxley had said that the vast majority of human beings dislike and even actually dread all notions with which they are not familiar. Hence it comes about at their first appearance innovators have generally been persecuted and always derided as fools and madmen. This is exactly what I felt when I saw the reactions of most people on social media when they saw the 6 episode Disney Plus Hotstar series Okay Computer written by Anand Gandhi, Neil Pagadar and Pooja Shetty. The title of this video poses a question on whether Okay Computer is ahead of its time or is it simply a chaotic mess? And before I elaborate on this series I have to confess that it is a little bit of both. There is no way that a screenplay so complex, unique and detailed especially in context to Hindi film and series available can either be wholeheartedly praised or completely dismissed as outlandish. I will forever be for the creator, especially if they work towards pushing the envelope in a genre that is barely explored. But while I keep this in mind, I am also not going to avoid from telling you its deep merits. The series is set in 2031 in Goa where a cyber crime detective Sajan Kundu played by Vijay Verma is called out of retirement to figure out the case in which a self-driving taxi was hacked and killed an anonymous human victim. The revelations that come with the case as he has to work hand in hand with Lakshmi Suri played by Radhika Apte who is a robot rights activist forms the basic storyline of OK Computer. Here's me telling you the good and bad aspects in no particular order so that you guys can ultimately decide whether to watch this series on Disney Plus Hotstar. or not never seen before there is absolutely no way that you can create any parallel in hindi cinema when it comes to the topics that this series explores the recent development of creators getting a platform to showcase their unique concepts really made my heart happy whether it be the concept of time travel through a series like jl50 or the concept of the afterlife through a movie like cargo these pieces represent how the ott revolution has provided a landscape for us to finally explore the sci-fi or fantasy genre Okay computer is extremely detailed on how we can see a foreseeable future with technology and artificial intelligence how it develops to a level where it establishes itself as an element in a symbiotic relationship with humans while we as a population deal with many problems that are still our reality The concept of singularity when it comes to AI is something that I did not even envision to ever see in Hindi films or series. The reality that AI will have the ability to self-improve or spawn a generation of computers to become far superior than human intelligence is something that can be our reality. This is a world where we have smart holograms and drone super highways while at the same time we're dealing with global warming and social unrest. The parallel that comes to my mind with this series is the 2014 film Automata starring Antonio Banderas that explores the same protocols that robots are programmed to follow while assimilating in society your viewing experience guarantees the exploration of something new when it comes to okay computer and i think that is a huge selling point while most of the time we complain about the same concepts and storylines getting recycled in hindi cinema inconsistency one of the most frustrating issues you will find regarding this series is that it is an amalgamation of genres never allowing you to categorize it in any way It is an absurdist sci-fi comedy that is philosophical, existential and sometimes downright absurd in a matter of minutes and that is absolutely fine if you are game for that ride. While I connected with this absurd humor and pitch of the film, I understand why people did not connect with it. This is not to say that one is better than the other, just the fact that such a piece leads to polarizing reactions. Either you will absolutely love it or completely disconnect with it by the second episode and move on. The series has the ability to be on the same pitch as the Amazon Prime video series of Source, become weirdly conscious of its own existence like The Office, and then quickly out of nowhere switch to becoming Stanley Kubrick's Doctor Strange Love in a matter of minutes. By that I mean its morbid humor transitions to become self-aware of its absurdity so quick that I can imagine why people will disconnect with it. Sajan Kundu will come to the scene of the crime and state, "Main yahan kya kar raha hu?" Only for Mona Lisa played by Kani Kasturi to say manushya ye saalon se jaane ki koshish kar raha hai You get what I mean a mashed up head is described as pav bhaji a question of the estimate age of the body is described as 25 to 75 and a boss who is constantly agitated uses words of affirmation like janu and shona to calm herself down it's flat out weird and if you aren't ready for such zany material you're going to get quickly annoyed the cast I think everyone can unanimously agree that the cast of the series represents artists that are supremely talented. I mean these are regular faces that we consistently praise in everything they feature in and want to see more of in the future. Vijay Verma as Sajan Kundu is hilarious. His frustration to get to the bottom of the case as well as to come to terms with the reality of 2031 and coexisting with robots is something that is beautifully communicated. 
His constant bickering with Lakshmi Suri and the most odd working relationship with Mona Lisa makes for hilarious sequences that also make me believe that they could be regular features of a world if more seasons get explored. Radhika Apte as Lakshmi Suri is empathetic towards the new technology and tries to constantly convince Sajan of the same. Of little to no avail though because of his thick head. Kani Kasturi is so weird and so eccentric that I understand why people will either love her or simply get annoyed of her. She literally has the same energy and vibe of Aubrey Plaza from Parks and Recreation while having to deal with the most complex issues. The supporting cast that includes Ratnabali Bhattacharjee and Jackie Shroff are also extremely hilarious. It fascinates me on how mysterious of a character Jackie Shroff is in real life and how he is always game to play some of the most eccentric characters. subtext and metaphors versus forced agenda the writers of the show do not shy away from communicating their thoughts on indian society today while setting a fictional sci-fi comedy 10 years in the future there are several moments in the series where you can draw parallels from current events that are taking place the politics of the writers of the show is clear but the important point is whether this hampers the storytelling or blends in perfectly again just like the inconsistency of this series pitch several moments work but some simply seem to be forced there are some thought provoking moments especially in the writing of this series one character speaks about how hamare desh mein motto satyamev jayate se satya nahi jeeta to bhi chalega ban gaya hai or a moment where a character exclaims that hathoda leke ghumoge to keel hi nazar aayenge from a robot explaining that jokes sach ya jhoot nahi hote jokes jokes hote hain several takes on the detrimental effects of idol worship or the utopia that was promised to us versus what we got there are absolutely compelling moments in this series but i would also accept that there are several other places where the storyline deviates to communicate the creator's thoughts rather than progressing the storyline this can be a character expressing how hindi needs to be spoken by everyone to stay in the country or fringe groups being let go on the grounds of insanity or even surgical strikes being sponsored in several moments the writing or intention becomes forced taking away from the inventiveness of the show that i've already praised the attention to detail the technical details of the show need to be praised and i'm shocked in several pieces that i've seen on youtube no one really spoke about the attention to detail in each frame these are frames that we have never seen in hindi cinema and credit needs to be especially given to cinematographer diego gujaro and production designers gauri tiwari and prasoon basu i sometimes wonder if this is the product that anand gandhi and his team can produce with the budget available just how expansive and detailed his world would have been if he was provided more funds to improvise with the visual appeal of a piece like ok computer is undeniable what i have to confess is that the last episode of this series is probably the most frustrating one all the empathy and connection that you build up with the world and its characters end up in this mashed up pressy writing conclusion of an episode as if the creators were forced to wrap things up when you resort to characters giving you an overview of what has happened till now in a nauseatingly long speech then you know the episodic series has been condensed rather than being allowed to explore more as i mentioned the pros and cons of the series i hope you understand that this isn't for everyone and if you're either of these people it doesn't mean that you don't have taste it just isn't for you what i will never stand for is the blatant disregard and disrespect that people have for creators who at least try to push the envelope in a genre that is barely explored we envision ourselves one day to create pieces like inception or interstellar but we have to start the journey somewhere you might find the series and its elements problematic or something that you don't connect with but to dismiss the series as the worst thing you've ever seen really does make creators think twice before taking these risks we constantly complain about the same recycled material or remakes and remixes and generic love stories being fed to us the moment someone tries to innovate we are so quick to dismiss it entirely let's hope for the creators to work on more topics around this genre and hopefully with a much more cohesive and expansive piece that we can wholeheartedly fall in love with and that was the video guys write down in the comments below what you thought about this series please don't forget to follow me on instagram the handles are right in front of you follow me at jammy pants4 also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead Thank you for watching.